it's such a simple moment when he lays his hands on your head and says the prayer, but the Holy Spirit's working in powerful ways, so I'm, I'm trusting that. In May, Michael Boris was ordained a deacon at the Cathedral of St. Peter in Scranton. God willing, next year the Luzerne County native will become a priest for our diocese. It's a vocation Boris never thought about growing up. I was thinking about maybe being a mechanical engineer because I liked cars a lot and I was interested in how they function. All that started to change while Boris was attending Holy Redeemer High School. Michael was invited to meet with the Diocese of Scranton vocation director because a teacher saw special qualities in him, thinking he might make a good priest. I was a little intimidated to say the least, so I ignored him for a couple months. At the urging of friends, Boris never closed the door on the idea. In fact, he only grew deeper in his faith by going on discernment retreats and getting involved in programs like Quavatus Days, sponsored by the diocese. After graduation, Michael attended King's College. He studied theology, started going to daily mass, and got involved in campus ministry. All of the experiences led Boris to enter St. Mary's Seminary at the age of 22. When I was challenged to think, well, what does God want me to do? That's when I started to feel more peace. Michael's story is probably the best of what the Church of Scranton could ask for and what is a diocese we should be doing. Father Don Williams served as vocations director from 2013 to 2020. He was the first to accompany Boris on his journey. Father Alex Roach, who became vocations director immediately after, continues that effort and works with all other seminarians, thanks in part to your gifts to the diocesan annual appeal. Appeal dollars are absolutely crucial to supporting what we do. Uh, the vocations office isn't a parish, so we don't have weekly collections to help support all these programs for our young people. This summer, following his ordination to the diaconate, Michael Boris served St. Rose of Lima and Our Lady of Mount Carmel parishes in Carbondale. He spent many weekends preaching and participating in parish activities. He even celebrated his first baptism and wedding. Boris knows firsthand the importance the diocesan annual appeal makes. Most young people, including myself, I would not have come to the vocation director and said, hey, I'm thinking about priesthood. I don't think 99% of the, the people do it that way. It's the vocation director being able to go and meet the people where they're at. A life-changing experience that your gift helps to provide. I experienced such peace of God saying to me, this is the way I want you to go, that I had to follow it. And, um, and I'm convinced that, God willing, next year I'll be in that same place uh, in, in an even deeper peace. My friends, I hope you were inspired by the story you just saw. It is just one of the many ways the Diocesan Annual Appeal impacts the lives of our friends and neighbors throughout our 11 counties. Your prayers for and gifts to the Appeal directly support many vital ministries of our church. Through your donations, Catholic media is able to proclaim the gospel message in unique and compelling ways. Our Office for Parish Life is able to support parish ministries that make Jesus' unconditional love real in the lives of our people. Your gifts help us to accompany men and women in our diocese as they listen to and respond to the call to the priesthood or religious life. They also help with seminary and formation, preparing the priests of tomorrow for the future needs of the church. And through Catholic education and our 19 Catholic schools, we're creating the next generation of faith-filled leaders who will serve the church and society. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Your gift to the Diocesan Annual Appeal is vital. It makes a difference in our mission. Please don't ever think it's just writing out a check. No, you're changing lives. I want you to know your gifts to the Appeal are a lifeline of hope 
to tens of thousands of people who rely on Catholic social services. Each year, children and families depend on the help they receive with food, shelter, clothing, or other assistance. You make all of these wonderful ministries possible. I'm so immensely proud of all the work that is being done in our diocese on a daily basis as you seek to live as missionary disciples out in the community, imitating the servant leadership of Jesus. The Diocesan Annual Appeal helps us come together as one community of faith to provide the essential ministries that no one parish can do on its own. I hope you will join me in making a gift to this year's appeal. If you have already made a gift, thank you. If you're ready to give a gift today in your parish, I also thank you. If in the past you haven't had a chance to make a gift, please consider making your first gift today. Donations of all sizes are needed and truly appreciated. Please know that your gifts will only be used for appeal ministries and not for any other purpose. Once again, thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your prayers and support of the appeal. And most importantly, thank you on behalf of all those who are served. May God bless you and your family abundantly.